Right, so you just asked me, you just asked me a question there uh, uh, regarding the other scenarios. Uh, it could be that they've been out of the country. But if ever the scenario comes up that it's a full license holder, just think of your your examiner and your trainer as a pupil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you've picked me up from a place of work or the place where I live, and I told you uh, I passed my test 20 years ago. Would you stick me straight away behind the wheel and let me drive? Mm, no, I'd question you. Yeah. And what kind of questions would you ask me? How long has it been since you've driven? How often do you drive? Yeah. Yeah, it would... Because um, I might not have driven at all. What if he says he hasn't driven at all? It's a scenario that can happen. We're talking, you know, we're talking about in real life. You, you, yeah, but what, you know, what? forget the PST side of it. Yeah. You know, we're trying to prepare you to be able to carry out a real. Yeah, lesson. but I wouldn't start doing a parallel part with somebody who hasn't driven for 25 years. I'd start off moving off and stopping. Yeah, but if you don't ask the question, you'll never find out, will you? No, but we're just—that's a whole different subject, really. Well, it, no, it's not a whole different subject. If you were, if you expect it. A real live people to come out with the information without you prompting them. Um, yeah, but just say, right, for the sake of this conversation, I pick up Pete from his place of work the first time I've met him. I'm not going to say, how long since you've driven? And he says 25 years. I'm not going to go, oh, okay, we're going to do a parallel part then. No. Therefore. I would question him and then I would get him to show me what he can do. Moving off and stopping. But and look at it. Look at it from the examiner's point of view, who sits in on standards checks and and so forth. Yeah. Mm. Um, he'd be looking to see that you that you find out as much information as you can from the pupil. Yeah. If you don't ask. So with this, I'm going to say. Yeah, if it's if it's a scenario of I'm driven for twenty five years. Yeah. He's not he's not gonna say that for, for us to do a parallel park. No, but if you don't ask, uh it could actually come up that Because you haven't haven't asked the question, you should have done, yeah? Okay, so what kind of scenarios would he give me then? That's where we're going with this one. Yeah, it could be the fact that he's been out of the country and hasn't done it for a long time. Or he's just moved to London. Okay, so he needs to learn. Right, so... And he's only got one parking bay outside his house, and he has... Or, or one parking space allocated. And every night when he comes home from work, he has to reverse into it. Okay, so then I'd ask him how he gets on with his other manoeuvres, turning in the road and things like that. Well, I, Well, if you watch the way he drives to the area, watch the way he controls the car. Yeah. And, you know, if you see good use of clutch control, praise that use of clutch control. Mm -hmm. And um, then you'll realise that I've picked up on the finish. Yeah, yeah. Praise that use of clutch control, and say that you know that's the kind of clutch control that you know we're going to need for this manoeuvre today. Yeah. Mhm. Mm that makes sense. Yeah. And then if I question, would you like me to get the book out? Is that a good way to deal with it? Would you like me to show you a detailed, a simple drawing of what we need to do? I would say listen to the word picture. Uh, if if the word picture is the same as what I gave you. Yeah. Would you get the book out? No. No. I would then if he struggled with any any bits of it. I might if he's, get it out. If he's never ever done it before, and with the scenario I gave you that um, that he's got a test coming up in five weeks' time and his instructors had to go away, and it's the one manoeuvre he hasn't covered, then it would be a very brief brief. What would make it brief? Because he's already told you he's done a bay park, mm. he's done a turn in the road, and he's done a reverse round the corner, yeah? Mm-hmm. I would just say I want you to start the manoeuvre next to the vehicle and reverse it in with adequate observations to end up a car and a half distance within a car and a half. Yeah, so would, a, would you get your book out on that, at that point? No. I would. Are you... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. You, you you you're missing the point of the word picture. The word picture I gave to you was that I I have watched 
my sister, my wife, my brother, yeah? Yeah. Anyway. And, and, I've, and I feel I've got a, a really good idea how to do it, yeah? Yeah. So he's got a visualisation of it. Yeah. But when would I get the book out if he says he's never done it before and doesn't give me any of that information that he's seen it? You, you get the book out. And, I mean, this is the, this is the only phase two subject, uh, the only trained subject where you may have to give a brief. But would it be a massive long brief? No. What would make it uh, a short brief? Just by questioning. Now, what would make it a very short brief? If, if the word picture was, I've done all the other manoeuvres before. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. You don't know what I mean? <laughs> Not really. What you, I don't know what you're fishing for me to say. If I've told you I've done a reverse around the corner. Yeah. I've done a turn in the road. Yeah. I've done a bay park. Yeah. What kind of skills do I need to do then? Clutch control. Clutch control. Observations. Observations. Yeah. I just said all this. I said I'd question you on it and you said no, you'd get the book out. Yeah. You may need to get the book out to maybe give them reference points. Okay. I'm going to start steering in. Okay. Yeah. So it would be when the back of your car lines up with the back of their car, or the front, it depends on yeah. which way it's parked. Everybody does different, yeah? yeah but I yeah. need to know for, for the sake well, of... Well, the way I do it is when, when the corner of the back window that we use for the left reverse... Yeah. ...lines up with the back end of the car... Mm-hmm. Um, one full turn. I teach one full turn. Some people teach uh, just one turn, yeah? Yeah. And I... Hold, hold on. One full turn. One full turn of the steering. Not one revolution. Full lock. Yeah. Um, that's the way I teach it. Other people teach it differently. Can I write on this? turn to the right and then as the car drops in remember that we're using the vehicle that the donor vehicle that we're reversing in behind sorry hold on you've gone too fast right when that lines up with that it's a full lock to the right left left the left which side are we trying to park on? This side. Yeah, what's this side mean? We're park, trying to park on the left. Yeah. So there's one full lock left. And then when what? I normally use when the door mirror is in line with the back end of that car. Mm -hmm. I then do one full turn to the right. And then as the car drops in, if I look behind me and use the reference point of the vehicle ahead of me, yeah. I can start taking the steering off. Because if I finish, if it looks like I'm in line with the vehicle in front of me, mm -hmm. and he's parked nicely by the curb, mm -hmm. I'm going to go far wrong, am I? Okay, but if you're doing one full lot there and one full lot there, it should be straight anyway. One full lock. One full lock to the left, and then one full lock to the right. Yeah. It means that the wheel's fully turned to the right, isn't it? Oh yeah. And then when when this meets up with that, when that's level, you undo it. When do you undo it? Well, just before it starts to get level, isn't it? Like here. Yeah. Straighten. Yeah, and what would I do if I'm going to touch the curb? Um, pull forward to the steer to the left. And then steer to the left, and then
Steer to the right again. Straighten up. Straighten up. Yeah, steer. Yeah, steer to the left and then, yeah, then straighten the car. And then what do I have to do? <coughs> come back so you're within a car and a half distance. I'm going to come back in a straight line, am I? Yeah. So it's yeah. got to be a car and a half away. You've got to fit within a car and a half. Two cars. Uh, You've got to fit within two car widths. Your car is counted as one, yeah? So between that and that. As soon as the car is in, there's, uh, uh, there's not much point in coming back any further, is there? No. At least I know the car limits. Now look at the state of my book. Will that work off? No. Let's see the Right, I'll give that a rest.